Hey vloggy vlog. It's been a minute since I've vlogged. I feel like I only really vlog these days when I'm traveling because I don't know, I feel like it's more fun than my everyday life. Also, my everyday life for the past month and a half has been doctor's appointments and getting my new house together and just trying to heal this ankle for my trip that I leave for tomorrow. And it's gonna be a three week long trip. So I've just been really taking care of myself and my body and trying to get my ankle healed. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna give you guys a little house tour and maybe answer some questions with Sydney and Drew later. So yeah, that's what this video I think is gonna be. I haven't really decided. I think maybe I'll show you guys me packing a little bit, but I wanted to do like a fun sit down life update, show you guys my new place kind of video before I got into another travel vlog. Um, Cause I feel like that's all I post these days but I got my boot off today and I am wearing a shoe with my brace, which is really exciting. And yeah, I'm going to eat and get my nails done. I'm fixing, it doesn't look like it on camera, but in person, this yellow is looking like, it has like shadows in it. So we're gonna change the yellow and then I'm gonna get a pedicure and then I'm gonna get laser and then Sydney and Drew are gonna come over and we have fitting. I have a fitting that they're gonna sit with me through. Yeah, that's it. That's my update for right now. And now I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna go. I will see you guys in a little. I also got a new camera, so let me know if it looks any different. It's the same camera, just new. I think it looks better. My old camera, like I had to open my lens with my nail because it would always get stuck. So hopefully this one's better. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second for you. I'm at my laser appointment. I'm not gonna see oh, Drew for all. <laughs> oh my. What about me? You just realized. Sydney, I'm gonna see you. Literally. In three weeks. Yeah, you'll be here. Okay, there's one more week. No, I'm not gonna see Drew for more than a month. Like, we're not seeing each other in July. I feel like we never see each other in July, though. Yeah, you guys certainly aren't July friends. Except for the fourth! Except for the fourth! <laughs> but I'm missing the fourth this year. Yeah. Noelle is here, too. We're gonna try all the crumb cookies. Yeah, I got sent all the crumb cookies. <sighs> all the flavors. My aunt already so took you're one. 24 wings. <laughs> I got 24 wings from as where? a snack. And you have In-N-Out on And I have In-N-Out on the way. Still haven't packed. <laughs> is it celery and carrots? <laughs> this mm. is the whole time. Fuck yes. Whoa. You guys, Hot Wings Cafe. Hot Wings Cafe is the best place ever. LA? It's Hot Wings Cafe. It's a Hot Wings summer. Sorry. 1,000% a Hot Wings summer. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know which one to go good. for. Mm. Those look spicy. They are good. Are you guys more of a drumstick or a... I got one both. I, I do both. I like those better. What I are those ones called? I like the flat ones too. It's flat ones. <laughs> <laughs> I like how these have something to go. Well, hold on. Do more? Mm -hmm. Than the flats? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flats are giving more two-handers. Like these are like a... But it feels like... like popsicle. Lemon pepper? <laughs> 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 this is insane. Really? <laughs> Flavor. Oh my god. Wait, really? Mm. Better than the other. I wish I was high. I wish I could eat chicken. Like I'll give you another update when I have one, but right now we're sitting on the couch. How do they debone? I just did a fitting meals. for. I don't get it either. Like seven hours. How do they take the pits out of the olives when they're all different sizes? Hmm? Wait. <laughs> Wait. I don't know olives well enough to even no. know that they How do. How do they that? take <laughs> the shells off of the pistachios? Like when they sell pistachios without the shell? Yeah. Whether someone individually like cracking it open? Definitely machine life. Someone comment machine down below. Kelly. Hard. It sounds hard. And also, how do they take the bone out of the chicken? Can someone tell and us? Boneless chicken. <laughs> like, how do you do that? Where do you cut it out? Can someone tell us? Oh, because then it's breaded, so then you don't see. What? It. Are they okay? <laughs> Drew, you're scaring me. No, what do you Because then it's breaded, so then you don't see the seams that you make. What the fuck are you talking about? The seams? There's seams on chicken? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No. The holes. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The puncture holes. You have to make lines, cut into the things so you can take the bone out. These machines are really, like, precise. Can someone tell us? Let us know. Please. And yes, we are stoned. Me and Sydney. Obviously. I'm just tagging along. <laughs> you guys make me feel high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was shopping for myself on my birthday, and I was shopping, and I just saw something that reminded me of Sydney. So instead of buying myself a present, I bought Sydney one. Woo! Woo! Good friend. <laughs> Show the class. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> now it's Drew's turn. I'm scared. <gasps> oh, it's for the crops now. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get these? Very good. My secret spot. And then I got this one for Oh, can't wait for this. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's really good. That is really good. Noelia's turn. Noelia's turn for her present. Woo! Samba! <laughs> she knew about this shit. She brought them back from downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that was not for days. Those are so cute. Cute. Samba's like shoe of the summer, apparently. I love Samba. Shoe of the summer, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Samba's shoe, shoe, shoe of the summer. Shoe of the summer. Shoe of the summer. Um. <laughs> so everyone just left me and um, we didn't film a last crumb. What's it called? Mukbang? Mukbang? But this birthday cake one. Mm, so good. I'm getting my vitamins ready. These are my vitamins. I got one more tray that I need to fill up from upstairs. But this is what I am taking on my trip. I take my Moon Juice Hair, Magnesium, Flex Max. This is for my ankle. Calcium, because you know that I fucking need it. Vitamin K2 with D3. Um, some Zinc. Curcumin, I think that's how you pronounce this. This is... I think it's supposed to help with my swelling, my doctor said, in my ankle. And then this is also for my ankle. Those are my vitamins I'm bringing with me on my trip. I'm also bringing my collagen powder for my ankle and my proline powder, which is for my ankle as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna transfer these into Ziploc baggies so that I can get them flatter to save space. Also, I'm not gonna do a house tour until I get back, but I moved, obviously. If you guys noticed my new environment, it's because I moved, I sold my house because I just needed a change. I loved my house so much, but you know, it was kind of lonely. Um, it was a lot of empty spaces that I didn't use and I lived by myself. And sometimes I would just feel scared to be home alone and I would go in like every bedroom and like make sure there was no one in each room. And I just wanted something more fun and young. I felt like it was like very like have kids, family, house like fill all these bedrooms and you know i don't have any kids <laughs> i just wanted something fun and i feel like this is fun and good for the time i'm gonna give you guys just a little overview of downstairs it's really messy so wait till it's like organized and clean for the official house tour but here's my kitchen my living room and then my dining room. Upstairs is like my whole room and my closet room. And then here's a guest bathroom. Here's the guest bedroom. You know, just a cute little vibe. And that's pretty much it. The bottom floor is literally just, it's three stories. There's an elevator, which has been so helpful with my broken ankle, obviously. And then downstairs is kind of just where you walk in. And there's also a room down there in the corner, which I'm gonna make like my office slash package room so i'll open my packages down there and then go through them and bring them up but i'm gonna take these out and i'm gonna bring my suitcases upstairs and start packing some things so i'll see you guys in a sec just cleaned all my brushes so waiting for those to dry let's go out the shower about to get a spray tan what did i tell you guys i think i'm dying i am in my room trying to lock my doors okay it is probably what? I'm gonna guess like midnight, 12.30? 12.44. My stylist just left. We have been packing since 5 p.m. We have, this bag is filled of my shoes and my purses. This is my clothes and this is my personal clothes and my toiletries, comfy clothes, pajamas, and gonna be my makeup. I wash my makeup brushes and I don't know if it was the smartest idea because now I have to wait for them to dry before I can close my makeup bag. But I guess they'll dry by the morning, hopefully. And then I'll pack them, throw that in, close my bag. I'm exhausted. My ankle's definitely swollen. Definitely shouldn't be on it for this long. But I'm gonna go downstairs. For some reason, I don't have my body lotion. I know I ordered some stuff from Amazon, like all my toiletries, because I didn't go to CVS. So we're gonna go downstairs, lock my front door, and go to the second level. It's the elevator, by the way. It's 1 a.m., I have to wake up at 6. 
probably won't fall asleep for like an hour, another hour at least. Remember when I said I probably wouldn't go to bed for another hour? This is why. I didn't find any of thing that I needed from my Amazon packages, but this electric stem something machine came that I ordered that they use on me at physical therapy, and I ordered it so that I could bring it with me, and I just tried to figure out how to work it for maybe 30 minutes, and I couldn't figure it out. So I'm just gonna bring it and hope for the best. I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll see you guys in a few hours. Why did you dissolve your lip filler? I dissolved my lip filler because, I don't know, I've had the worst issues with my lips, as you guys probably know. It's something I talk about a lot. My mouth is naturally, like, uneven, and I tried to fix it with lip filler, and then I dissolved it, and then I tried to fix it again, and I just, I'm over it. So, I also just like the more natural vibe, and I have, like, naturally nice sized lips. So, that's why I got my lips dissolved. Favorite perfume at the moment is Bombshell Victoria's Secret, randomly. It just is my throwback. I used to wear it all the time when I was in high school. And I went to Victoria's Secret the other day, and I smelled it, and I got it, and it's been what I've been wearing lately. If not that, then the Kylie Kim KKW Fragrance Gold Lips is my fave. How do I keep breaking limbs? I wish I knew. I'm just clumsy, I guess. My foot's doing good. Me and Noelia were out and we had a few drinks in us. And we were just messing around and she like jumped on me, I think. I don't really remember exactly how it went down. But I think she semi jumped on me and then I fell backwards off of a curb. And then she shot up and I stayed down. And I immediately knew because I broke my other ankle. This light is like really aggressive. Um, I broke my other ankle like two years ago. So I immediately just like looked at everyone and I was like, my ankle's broken. I need to go to the hospital. I think that's it. I think I answered like two questions. <laughs> but I'm going to bed. I don't really know what the fuck this vlog has been. But hopefully it's enough to be one video for you guys. I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial on my trip. That will be after this. And then I'll get into my travel vlogs. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm delusional. It's been the longest day. This is my favorite thing ever. It's my pig. And I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys next video. Peace and love.